I mean, I think 9-11 has affected all Americans and being an artist working in these times, the work I've tried to do is to, is to document it, uh, the repercussions, and also to try to tell human stories that we can relate to on a more, I guess, emotional level. But the real motivation for the work that I've been doing is not actually the events of 9-11, but how the U.S. has responded to those events. The invasion of Iraq, Guantanamo, um, uh, legalization of, what, of torture. And those are the things that, that were not created on 9-11. Those are things that we um, chose. The job of an artist is to express things, right? So we're not, we're not activists, we're not organizers, we're not politicians, right? So even though I do have political beliefs, my job as an artist is to, um, is to express um, how I'm perceiving the world. And so what the work that I've tried to do as a, as a storyteller, as a filmmaker, as somebody who captures images, is to create documents, to create a record, and to create a record that's grounded in, in human stories. On 9-11, it didn't feel appropriate to take out a camera, uh, and, and I didn't want to do that. But then after, I, I did go down and, and film. Oh, Say Can You See is composed of people's faces at, at, um, at Ground Zero. And then it's also the audio is from the national anthem being sung at the, at the Yankees. World Series game that happened right after 9-11. Uh, I think if you went there today, everyone would be texting and had their cell phones, right? And 10 years ago, actually people were just going there and would, would, would sit there for like half an hour and just look. And um, I think that there's always, a, you know, as a dealing with representation, I mean, there are things that can't be seen, right? And so you can't really witness the tragedy of 9-11. Um, that that's something that's felt. The, the film I made in Iraq was to try to understand the human consequences of the war and so that Americans can understand it and understand it in a way that's um, much more human than reading about, you know, casualty numbers. And so what do, you, what, what, what do we understand if we m come to know Iraqis and what, and what they're struggling with? I've been on a watch list since 2006 when I finished the film that I made in Iraq. I've been stopped at the border about f over 40 times. They send two agents to the airplane and then I'm escorted into, into qu a questioning room and my belongings are searched and I've had my laptop seized and I've had notebooks photocopied. The US government doesn't acknowledge that, it, that anyone is on uh, a watch list and and you don't know why the government doesn't tell you why you're on a watch list I've filed complaints and done all the normal things I worked with ACLU we've done FOIAs so it is a bit Kafka-esque to be stopped every time that I that I travel um, to the United States and never be told why this is happening it's indicative of, of the direction that the United States is moving in I think